Patrick Mahomes has proven himself yet again with this latest Super Bowl win, and he's now become the only quarterback in NFL history to win two league MVPs and two Super Bowls in the first six years of his career. If that doesn't show he's a winner, we can also check out his budding real estate portfolio. Worth a combined $8 million, 27-year-old Mahomes has reportedly purchased four separate properties, two in Missouri, as well as a plot of land there, and one stunning contemporary mansion in Westlake, Texas. This is likely only the beginning for the Kansas City Chiefs quarterback, and he no doubt has the funds to make it happen. I mean, he signed a 10-year, $503 million contract with the team back in 2020. As far as his main residence is concerned, Patrick spends most of his time in his stunning home in a Kansas City suburb, which he shares with his high school sweetheart turned wife, Brittany Matthews. The two tied the knot in early 2022 and share two children, a girl who's one years old currently and a boy recently born in November 2022. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Prior to Patrick Mahomes' current house in Kansas City, reports online say the NFL star was living in a penthouse unit located in the Bellevue Plaza. In December 2017, Mahomes was said to have bought a two-bedroom, three-bathroom condo in Kansas City for $350,000, which was $120,000 $25,000 less than the original asking price. The star quarterback briefly listed the 1,800 square foot spread in 2019, but later removed it. Dubbed the quote unquote nicest condo in the building for the best price, it's the only unit to have a rooftop deck and a two car garage. With only nine units in the entire building, the Bellevue Plaza offers a luxury living and accommodations. Even a coveted rooftop deck with views of Kansas City. Located in the heart of the city, the building is only a stone's throw away from from Arrowhead Stadium as well. His previous penthouse unit had six full rooms, apparently, and it was decked out in modern fixings, including new hardwood floors and a fresh paint job throughout. The kitchen included granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, top of the line cabinets, as well as built-ins. The spacious living area here was open plan, offering high ceilings, a fireplace, and a wet bar for entertaining, as well as glass doors leading to a balcony. The master suite had a fireplace, gorgeous floor to ceiling windows, as well as blackout blinds for when you just want to sleep in. Not to mention the attached bath was fitted in marble with a huge tub and vanities, and there were large California walk-in closets in both the master and guest bedrooms. In 2019, Patrick Mahomes was celebrating a milestone when he and his longtime girlfriend, now wife, and mother to his kids, Brittany Matthews, purchased their first real home ever for a price tag of just over $1.9 million. Chief fans were hoping that this Kansas City home purchase signified a long stay on the team for Patrick, and it turns out that they were more than right. Patrick's gorgeous home is located in the heart of Kansas City, in a private upscale community beside the Mission Hills Country Club. It's described as a remarkable contemporary ranch on estate-sized grounds, according to the listing, and the lot spans about 1.4 acres. The home is in the community of Sunset Hills West in Clarkson at 4,343 square feet. The three-bedroom house is complete with a private swimming pool, a huge wine cellar, and an impressive master bedroom fit for a king. And what the home lacks in size, it definitely makes up for in its beauty. Patrick and Brittany's abode was built back in 1953 and has the clean lines and connection to nature that many of the best homes from that era are known for. Although they kept a lot of the original features of the home, couple renovated much of the place to fit their tastes. However, most of this was left to Britney's selections with the help of interior designer Marcy Knopf. I picked out um, everything. everything. <laughs> Patrick did pick one piece of art, but Britney is definitely not a fan. We'll look at that part soon. Like her quarterback hubby, Britney is a professional athlete as well, and she also launched her own personal training business. The pair both agreed that they would like to stay in Kansas City for quote unquote 20 years plus, which is why they carefully selected their current home and wanted to put their personal touches on the place. 
home is amazing. Um, it's everything we ever wanted. Their home has a total of three beds and four baths, and when they redesigned the place, the couple chose a lot of dark woods, fireplaces, white walls, and gray furniture accents to give the home a relaxed and comfortable vibe. There's a versatile floor plan in the house with expansive rooms, tall ceilings, and ample windows. There are multiple living areas, most with fireplaces and glass doors to the yard outside. Both the large formal dining room and the kitchen offer floor to ceiling windows, and the chef's kitchen has eat-in bar seating, stainless steel appliances, and opens up to the family room. Other highlights include a full bar in one of the common rooms, an office, and a wine cellar. Patrick and Brittany's sprawling master suite is approximately 1,250 square feet and is made up of a large bedroom, walk-in closet with built-ins, laundry room, spacious ensuite bathroom, and an attached home fitness room. The couple also loves their Google Nest, which reads out Patrick's daily schedule for him and controls the lighting, music, and home security system. Besides, the couple can also use it to watch the dogs. The couple's home sits on a terrace lawn with a swimming pool, new hot tub, large patios, rose garden, and extensive landscaping. There's also a gorgeous screened porch or sunroom overlooking the backyard. With a yard like that outside, there's plenty of space for Patrick's dogs to play, and now even room for them to build a playground for the kids. Like I mentioned, Brittany and the designer Marcy got the go-ahead from Patrick to choose mostly everything in the home. Except for this. Patrick must have some eclectic taste in art because this piece hanging over the fireplace was the only thing that he insisted on having. Mahomes said, I basically got one thing and it was like a baby with leg tattoos that we have hanging up over the family room. While he described it, you can tell Brittany isn't the biggest fan, but who could blame her? To be fair, the canvas costs less than a hundred bucks. So I basically got one thing and it was like a baby with like tattoos that, that we have hanging up uh, over the family room. One other design request Patrick had for the home was a proper place to display his impressive sneaker collection. Enter the shoe room. He stated, I literally wanted this, a shoe room, for my whole life, so this is big for me. Last thing was the shoe room. That has been something that I've wanted for the last six, seven years at least. When the couple did their home tour, we got to get a look at Patrick's expansive space with lighted display shelves highlighting all his beloved kicks and even racks for his sunglasses. There's even a security camera to keep everything safe. Patrick's collection was made up of 180 pairs back then and the number has definitely increased since then. It includes several styles from Adidas, his sponsor since 2017, and even the pair he wore during his first photo shoot. He also has a Game of Thrones inspired pair called the Night's Watch Ultra Boost, considering that's his favorite show. But his favorite pair of shoes is his Yeezy Boost 750 Triple Blacks. Telling Bleacher Report, these are my babies, they're big, but at the same time, you can wear them with anything. Now, despite the comfort of Patrick's current Kansas City family home, it seems the quarterback is working on a larger property. Reportedly, Mahomes invested in some land and he's planning on building the house of his dreams here after signing a 10-year extension with the Chiefs. In September 2020, Patrick purchased a plot of vacant land, spanning eight acres in the area of Belton, which is about 30 minutes from Kansas City. The property was last listed for $400,000, but based on Mahomes' pattern of striking a good deal, I'm going to say that he likely paid less than the asking. Then in 2021, Patrick built a new home on the grounds and most recently in 2022, records show he added a pool. He's also said in the past that he's planning on having a half football field in his backyard along with a basketball court for the kids. Finally, Patrick was said to have purchased a stunning modern mansion in Texas in 2020 for $3.37 million, which was 890K under the asking price. He bought the home from the estate of the late Andrew Gissinger III, a former pro football player for the San Diego Chargers, who became the president and chief operating officer of Countrywide Home Loans. It's said that Mahomes lives in this home during the off season, which is located in the upscale community of Westlake, Texas, and newly built in 2014. The home spans over 7,800 square feet of contemporary living space inside along with four bedrooms and seven bathrooms. The quarterback was actually 
born and raised in Texas and played both football and baseball at Texas Tech University. This stunning abode was described as an entertainer's dream with its sprawling and open layout, while there are also views of the Vaquero golf course from basically all over the house. The impressive kitchen here has two large islands with marble counters and a breakfast nook, as well as seating for 12 people, while the double height great room or family room comes equipped with a gas fireplace and leads outside via patio doors. Other features of the house include a double height two-story entrance, a sleek floating staircase, and a private study with an additional spiral staircase leading to the private loft. Elsewhere, there's also a wine room, a wet bar, a games room, and a massive balcony. The master suite boasts a spa bath with infinity edge tub, walk-in shower, and a separate dressing area, while there's also panoramic views from everywhere you look. Outside, there's an outdoor grill, a swimming pool and spa, a fire pit, and plenty of patio space to dine or lounge al fresco. Not to mention, this Westlake home is now estimated to be worth around $5.5 million today. After looking at Patrick Mahomes' real estate, including his current home in Kansas City, that's going to bring today's house tour to a close. But before we wrap up, answer this question for me. If you were constructing your dream home, what are one or two features you would need to include that are non-negotiable? Let me know what you would choose if you could choose anything in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. My name's Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!